Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to import your products into Magento and import the images with them. And it's not tough to do, it just takes a little bit of setting up. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've exported the uh, data from our site by going to System, and then we have Import and Export, and then Export. From here, I chose uh, Products, and as a CSV, I didn't filter it at all and I just exported completely. Now this is the way I believe it's best to make sure that you have all of the correct columns that you need is to just simply export your system as it is. Um, in fact, we can see all of our products in here already. Now you'll see that along with their titles and everything like we went over in the previous video, um, we have um, right here for image, we have their image, and that's at the actual location that the image is stored at. Uh, we also have over here, far to the right, far to the right, far to the right, we have the media image, which are what, as well is the location of the image, as well as the image. And notice how it's N-O, so it takes the first uh, letter and then the second letter to store your images. And then it also has media attribute ID 703, and then we have media position and media disabled. So media disabled, you'll notice is either a zero or a one. A one is going to set the image to be excluded. We also have media position, which is going to uh, set the image to its position, zero, one, two. So to illustrate this, I have the same Nokia phone opened in our back end of our site. And if you wanna check uh, to make sure everything's the same, if you look at uh, open this image in a new tab, we have the Nokia-2 phone right here is this first image. You'll notice it's sort order zero, it has nothing for its label, and then it's excluded. Now if we look at the Nokia-2 is uh, zero for its position and it is excluded. Now, if you're wondering uh, how we have each one set to the store, thumbnail, and base image, you'll scroll over here and you'll see it's where we're actually telling it. This is to the left, by the way. You'll see where it's actually telling it. There's going to be a thumbnail column. If I keep going, I'm going to see it. So we have the thumbnail image column, and this is going to be the image name, the hyphen two that we saw there. And if we keep going over, we will see the small image, and of course, we're going to see the media image, uh, the one that we looked at first. So here we go, the image right here. And so this is where we need to define our image names when we're uploading these files. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of this information. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Keep in mind, I'm using OpenOffice here. Um, you can use, uh, you can use Excel or anything like that, although I know there is some sort of a, a weird encoding bug with the OSX version of um, Excel that will cause some issues if you're trying to import products It might say the SKU is not available. I touched on this in the last uh, video where I gave a workaround that involved uploading it to Google Drive or something to get rid of it. If you're using OpenOffice like I am, we can just make sure we export it in the right settings and it will work fine especially even on Mac. So let's go ahead and create a product. I have three images here, and there are these three images of some tea. It's this type of tea that's like a, um, they're little tea balls that bloom. You may have seen them in these tutorials before. I frequently have these pictures because my parents have ran a tea site for a little while where they sell this type of tea. Um, so I have, I have a surplus of these images. So I have my images here, and I wanna create my product, and I'm just gonna make up a dummy skew because this isn't a real product, but um, of course, if you uh, had your story, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have all the correct information filled in. Now, I know I have an attribute set T, so I'm gonna have that as our attribute set T. Um, our type is a simple product. Now, I'm not gonna go over the rest of these other fields, just the ones that are important here and have to deal with the images. If you'd like to learn more about what these other fields are, we have to fill out these columns, go ahead and watch the other 
a video on importing products. This one is specifically about importing images themselves. And now we're gonna be coming up to our first image and let's scroll over. It's this image right here. So let's go ahead and pick one of these images. Now I'm just going to pick this first one right here and all you really need to do is copy the name of the image. Don't worry about location or anything because Magento is going to put this image in the correct folder itself once we upload it. So now we need to keep going over. So let's keep going over and we have small image here. Um, so now for the same small image, I'm also gonna have the same image. And then for the thumbnail, I'm gonna use a different one just so we can mix it up here a little bit. I'm gonna use this one right down here. Okay. Okay, and I'm not gonna worry about any labels or anything we have. So even if you have all of those images filled in, right? You have the thumbnail, the whatever. If you don't have this media image right here filled in, it's not gonna do anything. So we'll put in this one, which was the second image we grabbed. Now I need to grab the first one again. Just copy and paste this, this entire file name directly. Here we go, here's the second one. And let's grab this third one. Okay, cool. So now we have all these media images. Now you need this media attribute ID, but you wanna get it from your output. Mine was 703, so all I need to add here is 703, and you need that for the images. Now this is going to be just basically if you run an output on your uh, products that you have uh, uploaded already, you can see exactly what this attribute ID is. We don't need a label for any of these, but we do wanna have a position for them. So we can just say, um, actually let's do zero, one, two, and then just for fun, we'll have these be zero, one, uh, zero, just for which one is disabled and which one is not. So now we have pretty much everything we need here. If I'm missing something, then this is going to let me know. Now let's come back to our Magento site. And if we try to upload the products right now, as is using the same import uh, file, it's not actually going to bring in the images. So how do we get those images in there? Well, we need to put them in a folder, and that folder is in our media at the base level of our Magento installation. So inside of media is going to be another folder that is import. Notice how I don't have an import folder. You might as well not have an import folder. If you don't have one, go ahead and create one. Okay, so I have this import folder now. I'm gonna take all three of these images copy them and just drag them into this folder. So I have them in media import. Now, when we run our import uh, CSV file, it's going to find these images and upload them uh, based on the correct file names and put them into the locations they need to be. Okay, so now there's, now that we have their images fields taken care of, there are various other images or uh, fields in this that need to be filled out. And in fact, I'm gonna take that up to you for to fill out all of these because I don't wanna have to show you, you know, all of these quantity and stock uh, fields getting filled out. So go ahead and fill those out. And then once you're done, come back to here where we can come and save as our file. And I wanna make sure I have this edit filter settings checked. And that's going to make sure that when we save it to our desktop, uh, it allows us to use Unicode U2F8. And this is something that's specific to Macintosh, OpenOffice, um, and then a the bug basically when you go to upload. Uh, I touched on this in the last importing products video as well. So we'll click OK, and now we have our file. Let's come to our import screen. Now we want to say uh, we want to import our products. We want to append complex data. We want to choose our CSV. Let's check the data here. It's going to say it's fine, and now we can click import. OK, our import is successful, and now let's come to our catalog, manage products, and let's see this new product we created. Here we have it is, it's our T blooms. So let's click edit. And now when we go to images, we can see our images, one, two, three. Notice how the correct ones are set to thumbnail store view and the correct one is excluded as we even told it to. So let's just, uh, now that we have this, 
let's add it to a category so we can see it on the front of the site and we can just put it under uh, uh, we'll just put it under lots of stuff so that it's easy to find okay it doesn't matter because it doesn't really fit any of these categories okay so here we have it let's go to furniture then now let's come to furniture living room and if we scroll down here are our tea blooms with the correct thumbnail image the correct zoomable image and the uh the correct images excluded or image excluded so great we've now successfully imported products with our magento site and their images the big thing is just that you need to have your images in this import folder and you need to fill out all those correct paths you need the attribute id the image attribute id and uh uh, yeah, so that's it. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video below. Hit us up at Twitter Level Up Tuts or check us out on the new uh, Level Up Tuts forum where you can post and ask questions there. So thanks for watching. Bye.